word of mouth will kill you or it will make you. So it made us. I don't like for my food to come out wrong. I like for it to come out right and taste like the same every time. How did you learn how to cook? My mother was a great cook. I have never made nothing taste as good as my mom, and she didn't have all this stuff to put in it. She had onions, garlic, salt, pepper, and that's what she had. And she would just season that food so well, and now I have to put all this kind of stuff in mind to bring it up. Do you like eating your food? Yeah, good. I like eating my food. <laughs> Do you have a favorite dish that you like to eat? Yes, I like my greens and my yams and fried chicken. <laughs> and my pork chops, and my fish. <laughs> See ya, yeah. how you doing? How are you doing? Good. I've been here since 1965. I, really? Yes, ma'am. I, I thought I knew that thing. You just feel good in here. You feel like home in your own kitchen. Hi. Hey, you, you all you've eaten already. Oh, I've had people in here. When Aretha Franklin first started, she was here and she came to our cafe and ate a hamburger. The Phoenix Suns came and they would come and they would be in the kitchen. Boy, I'd have them wash the dishes, some of them. We have the people to come up and tell us. All I had was a toothpick and some water. I said, we just started charging for a toothpick and water. Then they would tell me what they had. <laughs> I, I always envisioned my business being a lot better. I wanted everything to be just like clockwork. I wanted when people step in, everything would be ready. I wanted people to be on time. I wanted everything just to be like it ought to be. I get that sometimes, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> Blessed is the child that God is on. And I'm, I, that's the reason we're still here, trying to keep going and leaving a legacy that they know. If Grandma made it, we can make it. I'm proud to be who I am and what I am. <laughs>